Hi YouTube, it's Loving Life Every Day, and this is my first episode of my first mini-series on my channel. This is for The Sims 4 Realm of Magic, and I put a video up with a backstory of these sims that I created. If you wanted to check that out, I have it on my channel, and I also have a speed build of their house. So this is what I made for them. This is Cordelia, she's the oldest sister. She's a young adult, and she's a romantic, family-oriented perfectionist and collector, and her aspiration is purveyor of potions. And then this is Electra, and she's a teenager, and her aspiration is spellcraft and sorcery, and her traits are evil, kleptomaniac, and quick learner. And then Estelle is her twin sister, and she is cheerful, good, and a quick learner. Let's go ahead and have them go into the new world. I'm really excited to check everything out. And then have them all... Oh, and I also forgot to mention that they have a black cat in the family, and her name is Lulu. The swirling vortex appears to lead to a realm beyond our own reality. Do you dare cross the threshold? Yes. Enter the portal. This is where the portal led us. Here is a sage, and it looks like he is a sage of untamed magic. That's what Electra is gonna... She's gonna be talking to him. And learning from him most likely and then we have Estelle as the good witch so it looks like this guy is a sage of practical magic so we'll have her talk to him and then Cordelia it doesn't matter who we talk to I don't think because she's just gonna be the purveyor of potions so I'll just have her talk to her okay so she's gonna ask her how to use magic and same thing for all of them. Learning the magical arts is a wonderful and perilous journey. Are you sure you are ready to be, are you prepared to become a spellcaster? Born ready. And same thing, I was born ready. In order to bestow the gift of magic upon you, I will need seven magical moats. I have granted you moat sight in order to see and retrieve them. Search the realm for moats and return to me quickly before the spell wears off. Okay, so one, ask how to use magic. That's so cool, the little glowing eyes animation. Let's find seven of these and hopefully we didn't already click on them for the other sisters. She might be done, I'm thinking, um, Electra, so where is um, that Morgan guy? Turn in moats. She still has to collect these. Electra is now a spellcaster. You can view her spellbook by opening her perks panel or by clicking on the button in this window. So she is gonna be, she's gonna have the untamed magic. Um, untamed spellcaster dedicates themselves to only the most powerful and uncontrollable spells. Magic is a force to be controlled. Okay, so these are the things that she is going to learn. Let's see what she has to do next. She has to learn a spell. I'm gonna have her talk to this guy more. Cordelia has seven of them. Let's go down to L and turn them in. And let's have her try to go ahead and ask it to teach Untamed Magic. Let's see what happens. Hopefully she knows him a little bit at least. I mean, hopefully he'll teach her something. Oh, yes. Electra has discovered a new spell. Instantly incinerate your target with the power of fire. Now she has to reach Spellcaster 2 rank. Practicing magic, creating and drinking potions, or dueling your way. Okay, so I'm gonna have a duel. Like, what the heck? Why not? Magic duel. Let's try to duel for knowledge and see what that gets us. And then Estelle over here. She still hasn't turned in her moat yet. Dang it, I think he might have left. I don't see him anywhere, so I really don't know where that guy went. And she wants to learn from him because he was the practical magic guy. I'm gonna wait a minute and see if he just randomly appears again, but if not, you can just um, work on her later, I guess. Electra is about to go duel this guy. Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. I'm gonna have Estelle come up here and turn in the moat. She needs to learn a potion recipe, so we're gonna have her come over to the cauldron and experiment. And Electra is going to not do her homework, but she is going to duel with this guy for knowledge. I'm excited to 
Let's see what this dueling thing is. I've never done it before. Estelle just turned in the moats. Now she's gonna talk to this guy so that she can learn from him. And then Electra is going to have a duel. I need to get her a wand. I need to get all of them. Well, this. Cordelia really need a wand? I mean, she's gonna be the purveyor of potions, but she became a spellcaster, so yeah, I guess she would still get a wand, right? That is so cool! Oh no! Aww. Well, she learned something, because that little um, thing came up on above her head. Oh, she's learning! Oh, I see! Okay, so when she fills this bar, then she'll go to this phase, and then this phase, and this phase. Okay, so she needs to get here, I think it said, right? For Acolyte. So, we're just gonna have to keep learning things. Let's try to get as much information out of this guy as we can. Oh, I have to come back later to learn more spells, but we can still duel. So let's try to duel for knowledge again, like twice. <laughs> See where that gets us. And she's feeling agony and defeat from losing a magic duel. So they're gonna go at it again. Let's see what the other girls are up to. She's getting to know this guy, which is good because she's going to... I'm not really sure how much they need to know each other before she asks. So let's go ahead and try to best to teach practical magic. And then Cordelia. Can she learn things from these people too since she's the purveyor of potions? Or is it just the spell... Is it just the spellcraft and sorcery aspirations? Where did Elle go? There she is. She's always down here. Asked to teach a potion recipe. Okay. Once she's done experimenting on the cauldron, I'll have her come down and ask to teach a potion recipe. And they're still dueling. And looks like he is going to teach her something. Estelle has discovered a new spell. Grabru makes something or someone squeaky clean. That's awesome because I'll definitely want that for the house. We might have to get like, oh, she lost the duel. <gasps> Electra Martin got the curse of the duelist from losing too many duels. Aw, can I learn anything yet? Or is it still too early? It's still too early. So, I'm gonna have her... She needs to learn some spells. I'm gonna have her search for tones. She's doing her homework, which we don't really want her... Well, actually, they kind of need to do their homework because they have school tomorrow, but... Um, I'm gonna have her finish the homework, and then after that, we can do things. Oh, Cordelia has discovered a new potion recipe and has bottled up a sample. One potion of plentiful needs has been added to their inventory. Awesome, because she definitely needs it right now, kind of. So I'm gonna have her go ahead and drink it right away. And she's gonna, after she asks um, Elle to teach her about potion recipes, and then Electra, after she searched for tomes, I'm gonna have her do her homework. Estelle's already halfway done, so it shouldn't take too long. And they're getting a little tired, so yeah, I might have them go home and uh, I'll work on Cordelia since she's drinking the plentiful needs. I can't share my knowledge with just anyone. Let's get to the know each other first. Okay, so I guess I didn't really get to know her very well yet. Um, my bad. Heartfelt compliment. I like your hair. So pretty on you. Goes with everything you wear. So yeah, the girls are gonna go home since they have school in the morning. And I mean, they did accomplish quite a bit so far. So that's good. So I'm gonna get them wands and stuff probably in the next episode, I'm thinking, just because it's getting a little late now, and I feel pretty good about where we're at here. Um, I'm definitely gonna have a bunch of more episodes anyways, so I mean, we don't need to get everything done right away. So I'm gonna have her go home. Cordelia Martin has identified the goldfish, a new type of fish reported in certain fishing spots from Alfaba. Cordelia recorded information about the recent discovery in the notebook to learn more click below. Also, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing these names wrong. I don't know if it's Faba or Faba or whatever. The twins are going home soon. Cordelia still hasn't... Oh, well, I guess she learned something, but... So she has to go to her notebook. Hmm, I'm not really sure what that's all about. 
Let's uh, talk to her more because we haven't really learned anything yet, any potions. I was almost thinking like, should I have just made them young adults and like, are dealing an adult? But I think it's still cool, even though they have to like, go to school and stuff. I mean, we can always just try to work on Cordelia while the twins are at school, so it'll be alright. And yeah, like I said, we're gonna get the potion, or the, <laughs> the potions, the wands, and check out the familiar thingies. And I actually think that I can just take one of these. And this would be really cool because this is uncommon. Familiar orb of the dragon. And it's worth 250 simoleons. So I mean, can I just like take this one? That'd be really cool. Regal and powerful. This dragon should never be discounted based on its size. It is a formidable foe as well as a cherished companion. Let's see, what should we call this dragon? Let's call him Doug. I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking of names that start with a D, so we'll call him that. I know I'm horrible at names, I'm sorry. And then I think she can summon it. Yeah, so we'll check that out in a minute. I just kind of want to learn something first learn a potion but she needs to get to know her well she's gotten to know her pretty good she's her friend so let's go ahead and try to ask to teach a potion recipe cordelia has been taught a new potion recipe and has been given a sample one potion of good fortune has been added to her inventory a potion to find helpful items while doing everyday activities it is so cool okay so she already owns a cauldron she just needs to reach spellcaster rank two and know three different potions let's try to duel for knowledge Ooh, ask for magical training that's what we're gonna do actually and then we can duel talent points looks like i can get something here knowledge is magic sim reads and does computer research at a faster rate Ooh, that would be a good one to have. Potion crafting speed. All of these look pretty good. I don't think I'd really need this one. I'm not really exactly sure what that would do. It says the sim can now cast discharge, which empties spellcaster charge. Oh, well I guess that would be good for like dueling, right? Incredible forager. The sim now receives more items when harvesting magical ingredient. Ooh, that'd be a really good one, I feel like. Experimenter. When experimenting, practicing sim gains experience faster with less failures. I feel like I should go with this one, though. I'm gonna go with this one, definitely. And then after they duel, I think I'm gonna call it an episode. I've been recording for a little bit now, and this is so much fun. I just want to keep going, but I'm gonna probably go ahead and record the next episode right now, but the next episode will be out probably pretty soon so stay tuned for that so she knows two potions she needs to know a third one for, to get this little marked off here this little goal i think i might try to ask to teach a potion recipe one more time oh here we go has been taught a new potion recipe and has been given a sample one potion of nausea has been added to her inventory a potion to annoy an enemy and turn their stomach Okay, so I'm gonna have her go home actually, and it'll check off this, I'm thinking, since hopefully it will anyway, since um, we already have a cauldron. And actually, I'm just gonna switch control. Ooh, you know what I forgot to do was do care for self, because they need to, they need to uh, work on their needs. They only have a few hours before school, so. Oh, something's going on with Lulu. Oh, the cauldron. <laughs> That's kind of funny. She's scared of the cauldron. So we got the own cauldron checked off, and now she just needs to reach Spellcaster Rank 2 Acolyte. I guess this is it for now. Uh, I feel pretty good with where we're at, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and stay tuned for more. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.